I am personally, and I have not decided yet, I am either gonna... All right, welcome to Talk and Investing. I am Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I wanna talk to you about a stock named Fubo TV, stock ticker F-U-B-O. Fubo is one of our small cap, high growth companies. So if you enjoy these deep dives on these small cap, high growth companies, please do us a favor and subscribe to the channel. Also, let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoy this video, please smash the like button. A little bit about myself. I have a background in accounting. I was a CPA. I've been trading stocks on a retail basis for the last couple of decades. My goal on this channel is to share some of my experiences with you and we can make some money hopefully along the way. So let's talk about Fubo. Okay, so at the moment, Fubo is trading at $12.01. It's down 2.6% percent on the day today is today is january 19th 2022 it's the middle of the trading day if we go down here you're going to see the day's range it got down to eleven dollars and 83 cents which is also its 52 week low right here you'll see eleven dollars and 83 cents so it's been a little bit under twelve dollars most of the day but it's been popping up and down either way basically at or near its 52 week low. Fubo stock has been falling drastically and uh, it's been doing so for several months and we'll get to the chart later and talk more specifically about that. But in general, I wanna go through who Fubo is, what they do and why there's so much downward pressure on their stock and whether or not I think this is a buying opportunity. So first let's take a quick look at what Fubo TV is live sports and TV without cable. So Fubo TV is not like a lot of the other streaming services. It's not meant to be in addition to your cable. This actually replaces cable TV. They have a broad spectrum of all the normal channels you would expect to see on cable or satellite. In addition to that, they have a heavy focus on sports. Okay, some quick facts about Fubo, and some of these get updated in a press release that we're gonna go through in a few minutes, but there's one in particular that I really wanna talk about. So at the end of the third quarter, they were coming up on but hadn't reached a million subscribers yet. Uh, 284 million total hours streamed in Q3. This is the one I want to talk about that I think is most important. 121 monthly hours streamed per user. So that is four hours a day, seven days a week. So that tells me that once people buy Fubo, they are using it. They are watching it. Four hours a day, seven days a week. That is basically replacing all of what probably used to be your cable or satellite TV time. This shows strong customer use, which ultimately should lead to strong customer retention. The pricing to have Fubo TV, if you replace your cable, your, most people will be saving money to go to Fubo, although it's much more expensive than the other streaming services. It's a replacement for cable. Consumers, as they switch over to Fubo, will probably be saving a bunch of money. At the moment, Fubo TV operates in the United States, Canada, Spain, and through its acquisition of Molotov in France as well. I can only imagine they have further global expansion plans as that leaves most of the rest of the world untapped yet. Okay, so they put out a press release last week on January 10th. Fubo TV announces preliminary fourth quarter 2021 results, including revenue and subscription growth. Expects to exceed prior guidance. And again, bear in mind, what you're going to hear is that they are, they are exceeding their expectations. So in the fourth quarter, it looks like it's going to be better than expected. And But when we go to the charts, you're going to see the stock has absolutely tanked. So that's what we got to get to the bottom of. But let's take a look at what they had to say. Both revenue and subscriber metrics are expected to exceed previously issued guidance, resulting in a record quarter and year for Fubo TV. So this is regarding the fourth quarter of the year 2021. Fourth quarter, 20, fourth quarter 2021 total revenue is expected to be between 215 and 220 million dollars. That would be the best they've ever had. An increase of 105 to 109 percent year over year. So this is over 100% growth in revenue year over year. That is massive. Full year 2021 revenue is expected to be between 622 and 627 million dollars, an increase of 138 to 140% year over year. So again, monster, monster growth. Prior guidance was 612 to 617 million. So again, they're saying they're going to beat guidance for the year as well. So, so far, all of this is very good news. Fourth quarter 2021 advertising revenue is, is expected to be over 25 million, an increase in excess of 90%. 
year over year, paid subscribers at year end are expected to exceed 1,100,000, an increase of more than 100% year over year. Prior guidance was about 1,060,000 to 1,070,000, so they're going to be that by a little bit as well. And again, this is doubling the number of subscribers they have in just one year. So massive, massive growth across the board. And then I'm going to go down to the last bullet point. Fubo TV expects to end the quarter with more than $375 million of cash, cash equivalents, and restricted cash. So that basically means at December 31st, they think they have about $375 million. So that was a dramatic improvement in their cash position, but we're going to talk about how they did that. And Okay, so after this press release came out and they let everybody know that they're beating expectations and that they had a very good fourth quarter, three analysts updated their position on Fubo. So you can see on January 10th, Fubo was a buy with a price target of $28. Wedbush on the 11th said Fubo was a buy at $32 price target. And Needham on January 14th said Fubo is a buy with a price target of $60. So those are the three analysts that updated their price targets and they're all buy, buy, buy. And you can see at, at $12 right now, even the lowest number on this board is much more than a double. So take that for what it's worth. I don't rely heavily on analysts, but I think it's worth noting that after that came out, the consensus was the fourth quarter was great. This is good news. Okay, now I want to talk about the downside risk in Fubo and, and what I believe is creating a lot of the price pressure in addition to the fact that there is just massive downward pressure on the small cap high growth companies in the stock market. Most of them, if you follow this channel, you can see I've done a few videos lately. I keep having about five stocks on my watch list hit their 52-week low pretty much every day. So that general downward pressure in combination with the fact that here's an article that was put out on December 29th. Despite the growth prospects, the risk of dilution keeps looming over Fubo TV. So I'm not going to read the whole article, but basically this is what is concerning investors. And I want to go through some numbers because I, I think that when you see what the numbers are, you're going to see there's been a drastic, drastic overreaction to this. So basically they're saying they have $375 million of cash at December 31st. That's not going to be enough to carry them going forward. They're going to have to e either issue some convertible debt or what investors are most worried about. They're going to have to issue some new stock to raise money. And let's just look at some of their projections so that you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this year that's over... The year 2021, which is over now, it, they're thinking they lost about $2.62 per share. Next year they're thinking they're going to lose about $2.29 a share. So that is going to burn through a lot of their cash. So unless they do something drastically different than this, they will need to raise more cash. They went from $217 million of revenue to $619 million in 2021. And in 2022, they're expecting to go over $1 billion in revenue. So that would be a 71.7% increase over the estimate of, of this year that just ended. So again, a massive, massive growth company. However, they have not started making money yet, so they're running through cash. So the big concern with investors is we're going to need more cash. They're going to dilute my stock. Okay, so based on all that information, let's go to the chart and take a look and see what's happening to Fubo. I'm going to give you my opinion as to whether or not it makes sense and where I think this may be going in the short term and in the long term. So this is Fubo's chart on the one day time frame. So each one of these candles represents one day. So this is just over a year's worth of stock trading for Fubo. So you can see back in November of 2020, which is now like 14 months ago, they were trading at around $14. From that point, they spiked to their 52-week high very quickly. By, by the end of December, they had gotten themselves up to $62 per share. So that was a massive, massive uptrend in November and December of 2020. So as you, as I discuss in a lot of my videos, I take this area right here, this, this January and February area of 2021, a lot of these small cap high growth stocks were just going through the roof. It didn't matter what they were doing. They were all skyrocketing. If you look across the board, you will see that most of them, their 52-week high is somewhere in this February and March range, and 
they traded outside of really where they ever traded before or since. So I like to kind of do this. I'm not gonna look at this. When we talk price targets and whatnot, this may be a longer term price target. So I'm not saying they're never getting back to this. It's just that this was a very overbought time for stocks. So I try to eliminate this in order to get some reasonable price targets and stay conservative. And again, none of this is financial advice. I'm letting you know how I look at stocks. This is what my process is. So please take this and then do your own due diligence and, and make your decision on Fubo. Okay, so this line at about $14.50, this held as support for over a year. We did test it right here in the middle of May. It tested this line. It held as support. We went back up. It was trading really comfortably within a range here. And then come November, this broke to the downside. And you'll see it's on a rapid descent ever since. I am going to zoom in a little bit so we can take a closer look. But first I wanna show you, I have a red line here that is the next line of support. And that line dates all the way back to April of 2020. So, you know, that's close to two years ago. So this is a very, very strong line of support. Here we are on the four hour time frame. So each one of these candles represents four hours. This chart is basically from June of 2021 to the present. You'll see the beginning of this gap down is right here on earnings. On revenue and subscribers and everything else, the numbers were fantastic, but the one number that remains a problem is their profitability. So they did lose a little bit more money than expected in the third quarter, and that caused a dip in the stock. Basically, after that dip on earnings, it's just gone down in a straight line for the rest of 2021 and now here into 2022. This $14.50 blue line, which goes all the way back to November of 2020, this was finally broken here in early January. We fell below that. It had one day where it tried to get back above, but it did not hold since January 13th, which is just one week ago. We've been trending downwards under its long-term line of support, which is why I've provided this next line of support, which goes back almost two years. However, investors are worried about dilution. So to me, I'm looking at it this way. Fubo is about a $2 billion market cap company. So if they had to do a 10% dilution, they could get $200 million. Fubo's price is down 63%. So we just talked about some potential dilution of maybe 10%. The rest of this decrease makes no sense to me. I don't think it has anything to do with the fundamentals. I just think it has to do with the direction the market's been going in lately and Fubo is getting dragged down with the rest. So I think this is extremely oversold. There is a growing short interest in this. Having said that, you know, it's hard to pick a bottom. And that is why I have this line right here this is almost a two-year line of support down around $8.50. So I have not yet bought into Fubo. I have traded this in the past. It did hit its 52-week low today. It is below its line of support that it held for a long time, and it's kind of in the middle of these two lines. So I am personally, and I have not decided yet, I am either going to start accumulating right now with the expectation that it is likely we go... To, Fubo goes down before it goes back up. Not because of anything the company's doing, but just because that's what the stock market is doing right now. So for me, this is a potential good entry point for accumulation, uh, depending on some other factors. The other thing you could do is just wait and see if it gets down to this line of support here. And you know, if it doesn't, then you just end up passing on Fubo. So those are the two potential strategies that I'm looking at. Again, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.